I cough a lot, sinus. So I get up and have some tea with cognac. It's dawn, the light flows evenly along the lawn in chilly Southampton, and I smoke, and hours go by, and I read Van Vechten's Spider Boy, then a short story by Patsy Southgate and a poem by myself. It is cold and I shiver a little in white shorts, the day begun. So oddly not tired, not nervous, I am for once truly awake, letting it all start slowly as I watch instead of grabbing on late as usual. Where did it go? It's not really awake yet. I will wait. And the house wakes up and goes to get the dog in Sag Harbor. I make myself a bourbon and commence to write one of my I do this, I do that poems in a sketch pad. It is tomorrow, though only six hours have gone by. Each day's light has more significance these days. I wasn't with Frank the weekend, that, that fatal weekend uh, that he went to Water Island, uh, uh, which is actually a remote part of uh, Far Island, this thin island right alongside Long Island, outside of New York City. Uh, he was there for the weekend with uh, uh, three friends, and they took a, water, a, a cab, a, a, a beach buggy it was called, but they're like jeeps, I guess, and, and they ran up and down the sand of the beach, and, and uh, they went to uh, have drinks. And when they were coming back around, maybe it was three, four in the morning, uh, they had trouble with the vehicle. He was taking a beach buggy to some place and they got a flat, and they made everybody get out of the bus. So they had to get out of the vehicle, and they were all standing around, in the, and then a beach buggy came from the other, another direction. It was a young guy with his girlfriend. They were just driving around rather high, I suppose, I don't know. And uh, the, the lights hit these people, and Frank was, didn't react very fast, and he turned, and it was just, and the man didn't slow down. He assumed that you'd, everybody would get out of the way, and indeed everyone did except Frank. He got hit, and he ended up in the hospital. And Frank sort of knew who we were, and at the same time was sort of raving in the most extraordinary, fantastic way. I mean, he was like his, his old self, talking about parties and who came to parties. And, and you looked at him, and he was like, he looked, you know, he had purple wounds, so to speak, and marks on him and things like that. So it was a very trying moment. And so he, and then suddenly they told us he, you know, perished. They said he was getting better. He died uh, gratuitously, stupidly. Uh, one of those things that shouldn't have happened. Frank was buried at the cemetery in Springs, actually, at the, at the Green, Green Cemetery there where, where Jackson Pollock is buried. And it was a, a heavily emotional uh, event. I mean, a very emotional event. A lot of tears and, and uh, a lot of great thoughts. City, midnight, junk, strains for Frank O'Hara. Switch on lights, yellow as the sun in the bedroom. The gaudy poet dead, Frank O'Hara's bones under cemetery grass. An emptiness at 8 p.m. in the cedar bar. Throngs of drunken guys talking about paint and lofts and Pennsylvania youth. Klein attacked by his heart and chattering Frank stop forever. Young America was feeling good about its artistic legacy for the first time in history and um, was really cruising along at a very happy speed. And then suddenly Frank was gone and people were stunned and began to realize how important he was to them. I mean, I, I still miss him. 
Uh, not extravagantly, but I still miss him. I still think of him. Uh, I mean, some deaths fade. You, the individual fades, really fades. You don't uh, remember the sound of their voices particularly, or the color of their eyes particularly. Whereas with Frank, I still do remember those things. Oops. Hello? Jim. I think you'd be astonished that we'd be doing this today. That we, we're sitting here talking about him this way, making a movie. What did you do? You went to the uh, Kansas City, I suppose. Yeah. This is a very peculiar situation because while I'm talking to you, I'm typing and also being filmed for educational TV. Can you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs>